Um, you know, again, I, I feel like, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, obviously, we don't get to choose. So, um, again, I, I, don't, I don't know what's I'd, I'd be surprised either way. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Um, you know, I'm, uh, again, it, it's an honor for me um, to, to be able to be selected by whatever team it is that, that takes a chance on me. So whoever it was at, at whatever position, um, I'm just happy to, to get that chance to the next level. That was one of the most attended podium sessions I have ever seen at the NFL Combine. Alabama quarterback Bryce Young with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. Welcome back to the 2023 NFL Combine. A lot of people wanted to see and hear Bryce Young this morning as the quarterbacks spoke. You know, Mike, every year at the Combine, there's one or two podium sessions that attract just every media member in the building. That was one of the ones in 2023, and I don't think anybody's going to come close to a crowd of that size. I don't think much matters with him in terms of his size, and he'll get measured tomorrow, and it'll come out officially, and all those things will happen. We know he's not that big. Yeah. Everybody knows he's not that big, but man, can he play. Yeah, I don't think there will be too many surprises, but having the numbers on paper will be the next step That's in true. the evaluation process. And what a team is comfortable with. For example, C.J. Stroud from Ohio State spoke this morning. Will Levis from Kentucky also on the docket. And then there's the wild card in all of it. It is Anthony Richardson from Florida choosing to work out tomorrow, choosing to do everything. And a guy who was really only a one-year starter for the Gators could be a first-round pick, and people are talking about him not just sneaking in the first round, but maybe going high in the first round. Yeah, he's a guy that could stand to make a lot of money this week um, with how he works out, how he ends up measuring, all of those things. And then there's, of course, the interview processes. Are there teams that really just fall in love with him as a human? Those are all things that remain to be seen, but Definitely a lot of question marks, and I think there will be a lot of people tuning in to his workouts this weekend. Charles Davis is on Titans preseason TV. He's on CBS Sports on Sundays. He's working this week for NFL Network. He came by to visit with us, and we talked about Anthony Richardson, the Florida quarterback, and he says the first thing about Anthony Richardson is what he looks like when you see him walk in the room. He is beautiful, gorgeous. Big? Big, 6'3", 245 pounds, you know. When he throws the football, that bad boy just jumps off of his hands. <laughs> Problem is, sometimes it's whoosh, <laughs> Sometimes it's woo. He hasn't been consistent. If you take the Utah game to open last year, you're like, oh, Lord, I got to have this kid. He did it all, throwing, passing. They upset Utah, big one. Go to some of his games in the middle of the year. I don't think he ever threw for 250 yards in a game at Florida. Okay, now, different things. I'm not putting it all on him. He hasn't had enough college starts for me. But guess what, folks? We're not getting to Bill Parcells' formula anymore. It's not happening where you're getting a four-year starter, three-year you know, three starter, win so many games, blah, blah, blah. They're not staying, and I'm, it's understandable. So you're taking him on spec, okay? If you're drafting him, in my mind, to be your starter day one, boy, that's a big reach. But if you're drafting him to be your starter down the road with some time, that makes sense. We've talked about four quarterbacks. The fifth quarterback is actually one of the most talked about players here. He was invited to go to the Senior Bowl, even though he couldn't play, and he's here even though he can't work out. Hendon Hooker from Tennessee is the player to whom I reference. And this is a guy who the buzz continues to grow. Yeah, the buzz continues to grow, and it doesn't have anything to do with the injury. It's about the person. It's about the body of work that he was able to show in 2022. I think it's going to be interesting to see, even though he can't work out, even though he can't participate in a lot of the drills and things that are happening this weekend, how he continues to raise his own stock and what he's able to do just being around some of the other quarterbacks and being able to meet with a lot of the teams that are here. Hendon Hooker on tape was something else the last two years at the University of Tennessee and, uh, by all rights, a tremendous human being. That's why Jim Nagy, the executive director of the Reese's Senior Bowl, invited him to Mobile last month even though he couldn't play. Jim Nagy here at the Combine taking time with us and he says uh, he thinks he made a pretty good decision based on what's happening here in terms of Hendon Hooker attention. 
that he did a great job in those interviews, um, and that was that was big for him. Uh, the guys that coached him during the week, that sat in the room with him, just how supportive he was with the other quarterbacks, even at practice, but in the room picking up everything. Um, and I think what guys you're starting to see, I, I know Daniel Jeremiah just I, I keep bringing up DJ, uh, but I know he just threw him in the back end of the first round or something, or, or there's some first round talk with Hendon right now. Um, and I think that's because a lot of people are really getting their hands dirty on this quarterback class. And then they get to Hendon and they're like, well, wait a minute. Like, this guy's better than some of the guys being talked about above him. His tape's better than these guys. Why aren't we talking about this guy? So I think, I think you're getting some of that. Because right now, I mean, a lot of these GMs haven't really gotten their hands dirty on these prospects until around now, um, Senior Bowl time, February. And now they're, they're watching the, the Will Levises, the Anthony Richardsons, and then they get to Hendon's tape and they're like, well, this guy's pretty darn good. <laughs> Let's stay with the Tennessee theme for a moment. Not only the quarterbacks talking today, but also the wide receivers. And there are a couple from Tennessee. There's Cedric Tillman, who spoke this morning and is getting buzzed. But we got to talk about Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt off a massive season in 2022 for the Tennessee Volunteers. 15 touchdown catches, over 1,200 yards receiving. And when you talk about him, you're, you're talking about a guy that seems to have – the total package and a tremendous upside. Absolutely. And you've got to remember he's in a wide receivers group that's a little bit different than groups we've seen before. There aren't the mega stars in that group. There's a lot of guys that are kind of bunched together. So for him to be a complete package player, for him to be a guy that is able to do a lot of things on the field could really help him. ESPN draft analyst Jordan Reed visited with us, and he said when you talk about Jalen Hyatt from Tennessee – you have to start with one word. Speed. I mean, he's going to fly in the 40. It wouldn't surprise me if he runs probably probably 428 to 432. I think that's somewhere in the range that he's going to run. Really good hands. And he reminds you a lot of Will Fuller, who was a 2016 first-round pick. And I'll be really surprised if he doesn't go in the first round. I think that highly of Jalen Hyatt. And he, he brings a different dynamic to an offense. Jordan Reed will be on today's OTP, which is already posted, as is Charles Davis. Again, that's the official Titans podcast. The acronym is the OTP. Get it at TennesseeTitans.com or wherever you get your podcasts. We hope you'll listen because we've got one for the next six days. Forever. It's we have crazy. so many. We will have done like <laughs> ten days in a row. If you're not a, a subscriber to the OTP, well, what are you waiting for? You Please. want to be. You want to be. Uh, again, Charles Davis and Jordan Reed today, Jim Nagy tomorrow, our own Jim Wyatt, who's writing some great stories from up here on Sunday. And we look forward to you tuning in to the OTP. Thanks for joining us all week. The combine gets bigger. Some people say, well, the combine will go away someday. No, no it's, never. It is just getting more and more massive. And we appreciate your incredible response to these reports we've been doing following the OTP all the things that have been going on at TennesseeTitans.com. Look for the interview match mashups from the podiums. Look for some of our video interviews. we got tons of content at TennesseeTitans.com. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us the last four days at 5.